YouTube, it is your boy Dot Boy Ham. Coming at you guys again with another video. This is my build video, my first build video, 2K22 Next Gen. And it's my point guard builds that I'm running with right now, my carry urban build, as I like to call it. As y'all know, with Next Gen, at least at the start, this is the very first build I made. So it doesn't have certain things that other people now have, because you know, we didn't know how I was going to like the first hey. session of the game. But after like a week or two, we got a better idea of it. So going forward, the build is definitely going to be more detailed and more intricate. But I spent a lot of time in the build of making this build. Um, going to New Zealand, taking that trip that everybody else is taking to really get a feel of the building and what all it could do. And I want to show you guys this build. I compare this build to like a Kyrie Irving. As a thumbnail probably showed Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry around there. Something like that. The build can pretty much do everything except for like one major key thing. And I understand if you guys are like, nah, I can't go without it. But wait till you see the build. So this right here, this point guard, handiness is all this new. It's the name I chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. This is the body sentence. Like I showed you guys in my um, build of Fidami's video. The height, weight, wing smile, that was very important. The body shape don't really matter. Of course, they won't let me change it now because it's going to reset the stats, but it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you choose. This is the wingspan. This is the height. The reason why this wingspan was chosen because at the time, everybody was pretty much trying to get um, Hall of Fame blinders. But now, as of recently, it doesn't even seem like blinders works. Let me know if, if you guys want like a wood bodges work or bodges don't work, like the best bodges for this year type of video. Comment down below and I'll get that popping for y'all. But... Everybody wanted blinders. This is even like slightly off from getting Hall of Fame blinders. So I think Hall of Fame blinders is at a 99 mid range or three point. So it is actually slightly off from that. I think after a while, I just wanted, I didn't want to make a 62 build because I know you need that for Hall of Fame blinders where you get 99 mid range. But I didn't want to go that far down. But I did also want a high three point. So this is kind of the build I ended up coming up with. This is the height, you know, minimum weight because it's a guard. You want it to be fast already. And that's really all, like, all my mindset into the body centers area. Okay, with the attributes, as you guys can see, the build is 12, 33, 33, 9. I believe this is an 86 badge total, if I'm not mistaken, like 86 badge total build. These are the attributes. The shot close, start off with the finishing. As you guys can see, the one thing this build is missing is the ability to dunk the basketball. And that's because, like I said, at first, it was believed that you couldn't really dunk, shoot three, still play defense, still be able to dribble the basketball. Now there's been some workarounds now. But this build is still really good, especially with the shooting ability and ability to still dribble and defend. But that's something that it is missing, the ability to dunk the basketball. A, a decently high layup for so whether you want to use tear drop or if you turn in the meter, you want to use pro touch, fearless finisher, giant slayer. Decently high layup, honestly. Close shot is, is actually pretty good this year. The 54 is okay, I guess, against builds that don't have interior defense, you still be able to hit it. Getting into the shooting. I didn't want to mass up the mid-range because I feel like it took too much off of it. So 83 was good enough for me. I'm still able to green it. Still able to hit that shot. High three-point out of 96 because I wanted to get... I think 96 allows you to get Chef Hall of Fame. Yeah, as you can see, if you, if you go down, the Chef is gone. I wanted to try the new Chef badge on Hall of Fame. So I definitely wanted the, a high three-point. Free throws are extremely cheap this year. Like, it's really cheap. You just do pretty much do whatever you want with free throw if you wanted to reduce it. If you have a park build... If you want a park build, like you know you ain't playing any type of like pro or anything like that, I'm sure free throw is so cheap that you really won't get too much from it. All in all, but me probably left up some some more, I guess, like lay up like one. It really is up to you. Free throw is really cheap this year after being super expensive last year. It's really cheap. Hey, getting into the playmaking. <laughs> I know for a fact with playmaking and get into the badges real quick. I wanted Hall of Fame bullet passer. I like as a point guard having Hall of Fame bullet passer. But it's really expensive this year. And this is something that, being that I've played with the build, I can say the Hall of Fame Bullet Pass is great. It's still as amazing as it was, but you could probably live with gold. You could probably live with gold. It is a difference between Hall of Fame, the gold, to gold, the silver. Don't mind my dog in the background. It is a difference between those levels of Bullet Pass, but you can go without it. You don't need Hall of Fame. It's really up to you. The ball handle, I remember my client before the game came out told us that 86 was necessary. But as for any of you who have the game right now, you notice that with the dribbling or the animation stuff, all of them require 86 ball handles. Some of them require like I think an 80, like a 77 or something like that. So if you don't want 87 all around it, you don't really need it. But here's why it's so important and why I stopped at 87 specifically. And this year, if you haven't played or you haven't heard, haven't been on Twitter to see about it, still is extremely open. You need high unpluckable. Silver is not good enough. Gold 
so far for me has been okay. It's been straight. I've been able to dribble the ball and not been reached, get the ball poked at me every single possession. So gold unblockable is okay. Um, I think the, to get Hall of Fame, that's 99. So you have to go all the way up to that 99 bond for unblockable Hall of Fame, which is just crazy to think about. So 87 bond that gets you a gold. That pretty much suffices. You'll be okay with that. But a 92 speed with ball, um, I think the major difference for me we have was the Hall of Fame quick first step. I know for a father that I wanted that. That's such a big thing for guards and just any build to have a high quick first step. So the Hall of Fame quick first step was really huge. That's just like a real big benefit. With defense, um, no interior. The perimeter defense, I wanted silver comps. That's, that's something I wanted for a 5'7", 6 is the bare minimum for a silver comps. I wanted, I didn't just want to have bronze. I wanted silver because I feel like silver is it's kind of like the baseline normal. Allow me to still play a decent amount of defense while not being over, over the top. The best I can get. And then I wanted silver interceptor, which is why the steals just stopped at 60. So I did the bare minimum for steals and for clumps. I just wanted to get the bare minimum down. That's really all I did for defense with this build. But this year, they actually gave you a amount of box points. You're not forced enough from rebounding. So I got nine, which was enough to get me silver interceptor, silver clamps, and maybe like if I wanted to a silver pick dodge or like a bronze pick dodge, a bronze pick pocket, ball strip or whatever. So that's that in total. I did max out the physicals, 94 speed, 93 acceleration. They're saying that with gem rot, uh, yeah, with gem rot, you still get the, the plus four or five physicals. I'm not really sure about that. But I know the, I did see a tweet saying that gem rot will give you some type of in-game boost. In regards to your physicals, so yeah, no strength, no vertical, max out stamina because it's a point guard. But yeah, give or take, needing the max out, probably could get away with like a 90. But this is my build that I've been running with. I will give you guys an update at 99 overall what the build can do. Show you guys a couple park games or a couple rec games that the build can do. This build is quite capable of doing like Kyrie Irving type dribbles, Curry type shooting, quick shots, quick movement. I do have plan jump shot bits for you guys because I my jump shot has been right so I want to give you guys a, a good amount of clips for that and probably give you guys signature dribbles that I'm using one time I haven't looked up any of them yet they may be better but the ones I've been using have been pretty fine for me so far as I've been using them take over wide just in case you're wondering shot creator shot shooter playmaker that's like the main three I guess for a guard no lockdown no finishing none of that but yeah all in all this is the build Consider it to be like Kyrie or Curry. The comparisons, flaming the shocker as you can see. Now, I'm a fan of who cares about the comparisons, but now you see, see, you're not Stephen Curry, Mike Conley. So yeah, this is my build, my playmaking shot creator. I will give you guys an update at 99 on what I think of the build. I think it's a great build so far. I haven't reached 99 yet, but with maxed out badges, maxed out attributes, I will give you guys an update video. Stay tuned for that. Um, keep up with the channel for the jump shot video coming soon. It's been your boy Honcho Ham. Leave a like, comment down below with other content, with other videos you want to see. Subscribe to, to the channel for more videos. It's been your boy Honcho Ham, and I'm out.